a little early to be outside this morning. Oh, cold. What are we playing, Paula Bun Bunyan, this morning? No, oh, this is kind of sad. Ugh. It's kind of sad because you have to mark trees. Yeah. The reality is starting to set in, isn't it? Yeah. We're going to go from living in the woods to well, having right. fields of gold. Are we keeping this tree? Nope. No. I'm giving him a hug. Pretending like I'm putting a bow on him. And Pretending you care. I, no, I do. Well, the only good thing about it is we are going to try to save some of these trees for the siding on this barn, right? Yes. So that'll work. It's a good thing Zoe doesn't lift her leg to urinate because she would have to find new places to pee. She's a girl. She wouldn't lift her leg. Yeah, that's what I said. This one? Yeah, I'm assuming oh. this... I'm assuming this little area back here and those big poplars. Why would we want poplars? Actually, poplars are a host tree. I, I'm telling you, I going through this, I feel like um, I'm taking down like some things that are necessary and some host plants and I feel guilty. And where am I supposed but, to put my fire pit? But I, I feel like, when, I know, but I feel like I'm also gonna put, um, I'm, when I when I actually landscape around it, I'm putting in intentional trees and hosts, like for my butterflies and my birds, because we'll be able to do that. I feel bad, but these these trees are in rough shape, man. I love my pines. I love them so much I burn them on a nightly basis. <laughs> Well, they fall. Every every storm we get, we have massive branches that just come off. They're, these are all dead. They need to be limbed up. Because this, this is like literally all dead branches that, um, you know, they're a danger too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's justify. No, they are. I Did you not have a tailgate on your truck get damaged by a limb? I did. You did. So I did. it's a good thing it wasn't like... You know, I have to go get the other roll of orange tape. But can you help me walk around this big one? Because I can't hug this one. The leaning tower of Teresa. Mm. That's, a, that's a Brian Hefner joke. Yeah. <laughs> Here, go around. Hi. Hi. It is kind of sad, though. I have to tell you. I do feel like weird about it. Well, good. Maybe you can feel sad when uh, we start talking about the twin towers over here. I just won. No, because then you would separate the twin towers. Yeah, but you know what? It'd actually do better. I don't believe so. I don't think it's worth killing that poor tree for 15 minutes of sunlight. What do you think? Uh, I think it's like three hours. Three hours of sunlight? Yeah. So yeah, I'm almost thinking, wouldn't we take this little patch right here? We will. Yeah. And then that gives you... I think actually, see this path that goes up to where the fox den is? See this path here that goes up? Actually, and if we open this up, we actually could put a really... It's like, you know how it's sloping? I mean, I don't want to, I don't want to get into more projects or anything, but you know, we could have a nice little... Once this is cleared, we could have a nice little screened in gazebo overlooking the property and yeah. We could also have woods. <laughs> well, I'm gonna plant a ridge. I am. My eye is watering really bad, and it's not like from crying. It's from cold. Like it's 38 degrees this morning. It's not even October yet. It's such a weird year, right? And then we're gonna get all the rain from Ian. Beautiful. Hurricane Ian. Maybe Good. Hurricane Ian will save us some money and blow a few of these trees down. Well, I don't think. Ian is going to be that strong. Look at our trees are turning. Look at, I love that tree right there. It's always beautiful. Do you see it? Yes. Ah, uh, beautiful, beautiful. That means anyway. that I'm going to be raking leaves, picking up trees. I know. Wow, I can't wait to get you some time off from work. You know what? It's going to it's it's going to be a great end result, but 
You know, this part, I think I'm not going to want to be here. We might have to, maybe he can do it at the end of October when we're away and we can come home and just have it be done. I don't know. Probably not. No, I don't um, believe so. But anyway, so I'm going to, so we're taking out all of like from here down to the driveway because all back here, if this opens up, oh my God, we're going to actually grow, have enough space to grow food that we can actually save or try canning. We'll have extras instead of, you know, look how small this is. It's, it's just, it's fun for a hobby garden, but I really want to grow my own food. Like, And I, how big is this garden going to be? Is it going to be two gardens, it's big, one garden? It's four of these. So it's going to be like one big garden. Yes, and I'm going to put the potting shed in it. I'm going to do those round, you know, on the patio, those black, um, the moon arch arbor that I put in the patio garden. I'm going to do a whole tunnel of those because they match my shed. Trust me, I, I got it. I already got um, ideas for it's going to be beautiful. All right, it's going to be beautiful, um, and it's going to be set up well. I'm going to do cut flowers and vegetables. You know, because wow. why not? And um, then the alarm clock went off. Huh? You're dreaming, lady. <laughs> you well, know, you know what though? I have to get in what I can while it's in process because you know my 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 greenhouse um, the greenhouse I want I can't have realistically so I, I really you know I'm gonna focus on my growing space and the greenhouse I get hopefully I can work my tail off and I may have to sell lilies <laughs> I may have to have some gorgeous blooms and I may have to sell some so I can actually afford the greenhouse I want but wasn't that the whole point of doing all of this is so you can start selling lilies and seeds I mean, yeah, seed crosses and stuff like that, but I don't, I don't want that to be my business. I, you know, I, I don't, there's, there's so many people doing it, but I, you know, if I have like a real special one or if I do, you know, I want to do other stuff. I want to do some cut flowers and, um, you know, the farmer's market was fun, but I also, I want to keep this more entertaining and more hobby like for me. Um, and I don't want it to own me. I don't want to become a hybridizer where I'm out there now I'm planting 3,000 seeds a year to get three new introductions. That does not sound fun to me. Um, I want to just grow the crosses I think are going to be awesome and if they're not, whatever. So then what do you need the greenhouse for? Because you got to grow them because the basement is not big enough. <laughs> I can grow them in the winter outside instead of clogging up the basement and making a mess down there and, and you know, investing in all these grow lights. All It's it's much better to have them out here. There's a designated spot for them. They get natural light. Um, we just have to pay to heat it. That's all. So, we? Um, yeah, we. We. Hmm. You and me. So that's that. But, and I also want it for aesthetics. We have, I grow all my plants, my vegetable plants, my flowers. I grow all that stuff from seed and some of them have to get started in January and February. So I'm not, I can't. I need a place to grow them and I need a place to start the seeds to transplant them. So it just makes sense. I thought this was like a business opportunity between you and I. A business? Why? Because I thought we were building a greenhouse, putting up a barn, and we were just going national with guiding green thumbs. <laughs> I was picturing your puss on the, a seed packet. Oh, yeah, because everybody wants my face on their well, packet. Well, that's kind of how you got this thing going. Honey, you're not going to believe. if. It, well, that's different. That's me telling you, oh, because I know what you're motivated by. That's just me being manipulative. Really? Yeah. So these expensive lilies you've been buying well, that no, you're going to hybridize and start I, your own brand is a bunch of BS. I, I didn't, I didn't ever said that. I, I, I want them because they're rare. Like I, I, the potential to have something that no one else has is mine. Like I, I'm buying, I'm investing in these really high end seeds because I want something that no one else has. That's what makes things valuable and, and, um, just like unique to me. It makes it something that I have that I feel like no one else has. But like like my striped day lily there, like every there there's a few people that have those, but if that's stable and it actually puts up the stripes like next year this was the first year bloom on it, but if it keeps doing that and I can and I can multiply it and people want some and I can sell that, that's great. I don't have a problem selling some of the awesome ones, but I want to know that I did it. I grew it. I, you know, 
I just want I just want to do it and know that that one is mine and that one is you know it's unique and it's fun I just wanted to be like Grizzly Adams, live in the woods with a few bears. You picked but, the wrong gal. Yeah, I married Martha Stewart <laughs> Jr. No, no you did not. I am nothing like Martha Stewart. Well, looks wise, definitely, but... No. I, I just want to I just want to grow things and have pretty things and if I can share them and, and make money great if I can't great I just want to be excited and I want to enjoy my life and my property and my flowers and my bugs and my husband. Hmm. Are you like how I threw that in there? Yeah. <laughs> so does this anyway. mean you're going to be like gardening in the greenhouse during the winter? Yes. Is this what the problem is? Yes. It's it's to I don't break want to be cabin stuck in the fever. Basement. I don't want to be stuck in the basement. I want to be outside and even when it's snowing out and I want to be in the in the greenhouse and maybe we'll have a little couple little pine trees in there that, you know, I can decorate with little white lights. It'll be like my it'll be my she shed. It'll be my transparent she shed. Is transparent the right thing? No. What am I trying to say? Um, what is the word that's clear that you can look through? Yeah. She shed. Oh, transparent. transparent. Yeah, that's the word. Yes. For some reason, it doesn't sound right to me. Translucent? No, that's a little different. So anyway. it'll be your see through she shed. Wow. I can't believe you got that out. Yes. Me either, but. So that's what I'm going to do. I want, I just kind of want this whole. I want access and then when in the in the springtime when all my plants are like beautiful and they and the weather is nice and May 15th comes around then I can start moving stuff out and it's going to be like right here instead of like trekking through the basement up the hill all the way out here then bringing them back in I don't have to do that they get hardened off one time I don't even have to I don't have to bring them in and bring them out and bring them in they're like here are we putting a bedroom in the barn too sure. sounds like you're going to be staying a while sure I, I wouldn't mind that. You know what? I could use a little hammock or one of those big comfy pillow couches or the pillow chairs that you just sit and you read a book. You might get rid of me all winter. Well, this sounds better and better to you, doesn't it? You know, now that you mention it, there could be some benefits here. Hey, I'm looking at something. Look, what? look on this little, look on this trellis. There's a flower blooming, a clematis. Or a clematis for those of you that can't stand the way I say clematis. How do you like that? Whoa! And this. you didn't think the club? Oh, yeah, I wouldn't climb that fence. No, look at this. It's blooming. I have a bloom. One. Why do I have one bloom? That's so pretty. Why I love is it that. blooming so late? Um. Well, you sometimes you get like a second flush. I actually cut that back. Um. What is she doing? So we do. Look at. Her. Oh, look at her. Uh, look I don't want to look at her. Look at her. I know she's up what are you to doing? no good. What are you doing? Get that door. That's how she yells at the dog, and that's why the dog has behavioral issues. She does not. Yes, she does. She loves her life. Look, look at her. She is literally playing soccer with my Japanese beetle trap. She loves her life because there's no accountability for her oh, actions. Good girl, you got it. You bad. Look at that. Bad girl. Look at that. Look at that. She, she literally will just do that all day long. She loves life, too. She's, she's just like me. Anyway, why what? We're going to have a lot of work to do, a lot of picking up to do here. <laughs> maybe you can... She, she literally is like a cheetah. Maybe you could attach a wagon to the back of the dog and we could put her to some good use around Oh here. my God, no, she'd kill herself. She runs way too fast. The other day I'm pulling up the driveway, there's a deer and I'm like, oh my God. And then, so I put my window down and I'm like, get out of here. And it ran into the yard. So, of course, Zoe comes up the side of my car and just knit like a cheetah. She's like, whoosh. And she chased that deer all the way up. And then she comes back and she's like, I did it. She's like, perfect. She's the perfect dog. Yeah. I'm sure the deer Look really enjoy she's it. <laughs> she's still going crazy. Yeah, but I noticed we've had more ticks this year. Ticks? And I uh, believe it's actually, because of the dog. More ticks? We had two. I pulled two ticks off. You didn't pull the one off me. Where'd you have a tick? Right in my arm, my bicep. Why? I don't know. Bringing it out. Because that's probably you? where most of the blood is pumping. Because it's so big. Come here. Look at her. She's like, uh, no, I think I'll just stay here because I know you'll take it away from me. Hey, don't destroy that. Come here, Zoe. Come on. What is that? It's the Japanese beetle trap. 
I guess we'll be buying another one of those this year. Good girl, come here. What are the kids doing too? Why do we have rocks all over the grass here? They, they, were, gonna they were gonna use the pavers and build something, a fort or something, but you know, those pavers are heavy, so yeah. I'm pretty sure they got bored and tired of doing that. Oh, the grass is- All right, Paula Bunyan, stay tuned. We'll- Don't you dare. We'll check back in after you stop hugging these trees. Oh. So. What have you done to the garden? Ugh. Don't worry about the garden. What about myself? I'm not worried about you. I'm worried about the view. Oh my God. What happened? Did you just you lose bed? your mind today? I'm putting it to bed. Looks like you gave it a dirt nap. Ugh. Right now it's going to go rest in peace. Yeah, for real. So, is it, isn't it a little early to be doing this or? I'm talking about in the season. Do you normally do this? Yes. I know. It's October. I don't know. Maybe I'm trying not to have flashbacks because I did a lot of the work back then. Well, it's already done if you've noticed. Well, that's one benefit of me working a lot is I don't really have to work at home. I didn't say that. Get you where I can. Yeah, I know. I'm surprised I'm not filling that wagon right now. Me too, actually. I've been busting my hump all day. So, you want to explain exactly what's happening? You're just cutting things back. This had, is it. I had a kid-free day is what's happening. And instead of sitting on my behind, because it's a holiday and nothing else can happen, um... I decided to tackle the cutbacks because a lot of this got trampled by deer, um, eaten. So I'm just cleaning it up because I'm honestly sick of looking at it in such a mess. I haven't done thing, I haven't done a thing to it in a long time, and it showed. This was brutal. So is this what people normally have to do then for gardening? Uh, yes. Cutbacks. I mean, yeah. How many wagons did you fill? so far he just dumped one so this is number two it's kind of sad honey i'm gonna miss sitting out here looking at you in the gardens it's funny my son was helping me until you showed up and now you're not helping me and he's not helping me he's smart he doesn't want to be on camera yeah i'm sure that's what it is same here i'd prefer to be behind the scenes so it's very hard to document it if I'm going to be uh, oh, doing manual labor. My glasses. So did you find anything cool while you were cleaning that thing out? Absolutely not. Really? I found a lot of poop from your dog and the deer. Now how do you know it was from my dog? We do have two pugs, you know. Because it's usually got inedible stuff in it. Your dog eats everything, whether it's supposed to or not. I think all pugs do. Cleo doesn't. Well, that's because Cleo's too slow and lazy. She can't even get out of your way. Sorry, Cleo. She is a good gardening dog, though. Bye, Cleo. Licking her lips for something. She got a hold of something. So, is this the plan with all the gardens now? You're just going to go around and start Honestly, cutting them all um, down? Uh, yeah, the cottage garden, this one got done. The porch garden sort of got done and weeded. That little tiered rock, except for the bottom layer, that got done. Um, the rest of it can kind of wait until spring if I don't get to it. But these really needed, these needed to be weeded and just cleaned out. This was such a mess. It's so boring. It's going to sleep. You're boring when you go to sleep too. No, I'm not. Yeah. Well, it depends on what side you're looking at. Yeah. Not the bright side. You don't have the dreams I have, honey. Yeah. Even though you're in most of them. I bet. I bet. Am I doing this? Uh... Yeah, but we're in the Garden of Eden. <laughs> I bet. 
Yes. Don't eat the apple. Ugh. Things can happen. Actually, can you drive that down around here? Because we got another back side of this to pick up. Wow, it does look like you have a lot of stuff to do. And we still have a party going on. A couple days. Yeah. How come your niece didn't come up here and help you with all this? Uh, her boyfriend's grandmother needed her today for something. So mm. I was like, you know what? If she doesn't come help me, then I'll just tackle this because when am I going to do this? You know what's going to happen? We're going to get our hard freeze and then I'm not going to, I have everybody else's gardens to cut back this fall. So I'm going to have a very hard time fitting them in and you know what? It ain't going to hurt it to do it a little. I'm proud of you, honey. Look it. You did it all yourself. That's what I like about you. You're very independent. All right. Go get the tractor. What? Do something helpful. I wanted to kind of watch you drive the tractor. Uh, what's up, Zoe? How you doing? You want to go for a ride, Cleo? Cleo, my trusted companion. All right, turn around. Get her going. She loves riding on the tractor. Thanks for being my co-pilot. You're good. Thanks for being my co-pilot. Come pick this pile of shit up. So what is uh what do you is this compost now? Are we putting this in the compost pile? We, do we have a compost? We put it in the pit. Yeah, that's so where the compost the pile. pile is. Is that what normal people would do with this? Or would yeah. they just pile it in the, the woods somewhere? It's got weeds and seeds, so. Yes, eventually it will break down, but seeds can sprout in it. So if you want a whole bunch of this stuff that shouldn't be in your garden to be in your garden, then you can use it. But so it doesn't make good compost. I know it does. It's just, you know, seeds last forever sometimes for weeds. So it's not always foolproof. Good to make your own, but... Plus, you wouldn't want dog crap in your compost, would you? Correct. Or tomatoes. Well, you must have worked really hard today. I did. Yeah. I actually finished this big job. My tell. barter you're, you're job. Completely wore out from helping. Otherwise, you'd be offering to help. My barter job is done, and so are the trees. Oh. Shortly. So you're welcome. That means I'm going to be home a little bit more. Aren't you excited? Not particularly. You miss me. Uh, See, she admitted it. <laughs> Cleo's like, let's go, I'm ready. Uh, no more screaming coming from the garden anymore. No, they'll still be in here trampling crap and I'll still be screaming. Although Jack has slim pickings for his butt. I'm talking about when you were screaming when you would see these lilies or... Oh, I know. That's the good screaming. I, I'm used to hollering at the dog because he's backing his hind end up to my plants and taking a big load. <laughs> <laughs> I was... I, I like the lily screaming more, you know what I'm saying? That's like you screaming last night, you know what I'm talking about? Unfortunately, it was because I forgot to turn off the light before I took off the shirt. Yeah. It is Halloween, but that's pretty ridiculous. I was being Casper, the friendly host. Yeah. So. I think that's it. I have one more pile over here. I'm looking forward to Halloween. Look what the deer have done to the guacamole hoxes along the retaining wall. The deer did that? You didn't do that today? No. Boy, look at the sun coming through there now. Beautiful. 
Yeah, it used to be shady back here, but... Yes, thank God, we have some sunlight. Our neighbor doesn't like trees, so... Oh, kind of... No, hey, that's fine. I have no problem. It hurt at first, but, you know, I get it. I can't really be hypocritical. I'm about to drop about 30 of them myself. It's going to be the last Halloween with those beautiful pines back there. Ugh. I'm going to cry like a baby. You're going to have to hold me. Yeah. I can, I'm already getting teary-eyed. Please. It's gonna happen sooner rather than later, right after I your got, party. I actually got teary eyed marking them for destruction. It didn't look like you got teary eyed when you were marking them. I did. Really? I, I was actually like, I was actually pretty upset. It's because it's kind of sad. I, I like because the birds use them and, you know. But I will replace some of them intentionally, so. Replace them with what? I'm going to get a couple of trees. I'm going to landscape the barn and the shack that you build me. It's going to be a beautiful experience. I'm sure. It is. <laughs> nothing goes smooth or beautiful here. Well, nothing goes smooth or beautiful when you're doing construction either it's going to take a while so no, it cannot. you're just too impatient i'm not impatient i want it done uh, yeah exactly i'm not impatient i'm not waiting five years like we would normally do i'm not 10 years for my patio well good then you can start bugging these people and then maybe you won't be bugging me so get on the phone and start calling up all the people we need to get in order and let's get it going you know, I'm too nice. These guys are my buddies. They don't, they're not going to listen to me, but trust me, I have a feeling they might listen to you. Yeah. Yeah. I think they will too. It's kind of hard not to. Stop it. Well, everybody thinks you're, you know, this little princess, but. I am. Yeah. But wait, wait, wait. Everyone thinks I'm the, this little princess. Yeah. Who? Who? Who thinks I'm a princess? I don't know. I'm the queen. No, yeah. The queen of mean. You got it. Barking orders to your husband. Get on there and dump it. All right, honey. Looks like I'm going to have to help you out with this. Thanks. I appreciate it. Time to jump in. Hey, you know, my work is never done. And that's just gorgeous. It does look nice. Oh, one thing I noticed. The colors, the fall when colors. Take, when we take the pines down near the driveway, there's actually colorful maples right there. So we'll be able to see like fall color and beautiful. It's gonna be things. like bare. It's gonna be beautiful. Bald and beautiful, right, honey bunny? Bare and beautiful, honey bunny. Mm. All right. Looks like I'm working. And so it begins. We have a skeleton to build. We have a skeleton in the closet and in the box. <laughs> ah! So this is the big purchase of the year. Yes. After I could finally get one because, you know, everybody had, a, had to get them before we could last year and we didn't get one. I was kind of disappointed, but I've had this one since like March. <laughs> Yeah, it's been sitting in the garage. Yeah. We may have to rent a storage facility for all the... Uh, I know, this is pretty massive, but I'm excited to put them up this year. Halloween props we have. Ah! All right, kid. All right. Uh, That's it, like it's up. So where, where, where are you going to put this thing? For, for now, I want to just set it up and make sure it works because I'm pretty sure I'm past the purchase date. You know, I should have put this together in early spring, but you know, who's gonna do that? Not me. So I wanna make sure it works. <laughs> I'm gonna get attacked by, you know, oh, body parts here. Yes. Watch Wait, out, you, you could break a bone with that thing. What do you suppose this is? It looks like a leg bone. Oh, <laughs> I hope it is. <laughs> That's what I was thinking, wow. Yeah. 
did good because I'm right there. Look at his body. All right. So, uh, are we going to try to film this entire no. production? Because this could take a while, couldn't yeah, it? We're, we're going to need a little time no. to separate this guy out. All oh, right. God. Wow, this is so Wait, cool. But you have to film the body first. Oh, my goodness. It looks like there's a dead person in this box. That was oh like, God. it looks like the crawler from King Kong, kind of. Look wow. at his back. That's right here. Wait, look at it. It's got an arm and off switch at the bottom. Yes, this is the hip bones. The hip bones connected to the leg bone. Am I old? You know like, what? I don't know that song. What I fear is Zoe's going to be like, oh, my God. Look at all them bones oh. I can chew on. Oh. Actually, you know what? She actually found a bone um, that we found in the woods the other day that she used to chew on and love. So look at her. She's all happy right oh, now. Oh, really? Would you be you pissed if you it. came out here tomorrow morning and, and she buried the skeleton? Yeah. With the rest of her bones? Would you finally yell at the dog maybe, once? Maybe this will keep the deer from attacking my stuff. Keep it on all night. And he goes, if he had sound, he would go... Forget the scarecrow. Ah. We don't need the scarecrow. Boy, Bless this, you, this looks pretty high tech. Wait till you drive up the driveway and forget you put it up. Yeah, that could happen. Or or if I have a little too much to drink and come out for a bonfire, I yeah. may not return. <laughs> You'll get scared, because look it. That's just, that's not even a quarter yet. That's like, probably like, supposed to be as oh, tall good. as that white You know what? There. I might need a ladder. Good thing you're a painter because once we put the, the legs and the hips on, it's past my height. <laughs> 12 feet this thing is. That's like uh, of your trucks laying sideways, two of them. Well, mm, one yeah. That's two of my six foot ladders glued together. All right, we ready? Yeah. Here we go. C and B. Uh, step number one. C and B. Step number one is I'm going to finish mowing the lawn and I'll check back in with you guys. Yeah. In a little bit. Ah! Whoa, I'm out of here. Barely. 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 Can you come see if you can help me with this? It's supposed to click and it's almost there, but it's not quite. That's it, Emma. Leave it. Huh. Look at the pin. It's not all the way out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is the other one out? A little more than that one? That's pretty much it. I don't know what else you want. Dad, like it, Dad. It looks like this is a little Dad. bent. It's supposed to be. Yes, Emma, watch your fingers. Thanks, Emma. That's what I needed. Look it. I think that's as good as you're going to get. Where'd my phone go? It's actually helpful. They, they have an app that tells you what to do step by step. So well, that's good. Read the horrible illustrations in the instructions. Slide the so a literate idiot like myself could put it together? I was over this one. It sounds like it's in a different language. J goes here. Um, I have J. All right, the knuckle goes first. This? Yep. It, this is a great way to teach your kids about body parts. Is that the femur? Got it. Hold that. He's got some bad knees. Again, this that skeleton. popped in right easy. Which side? Now these are both flat on each side. Yeah, so look at look at mine. Look at this. No, I need to know which way is out. I need to wait. I need to know which way is the front way. This is the front, because look at me. Probably right. Mine went right in. Well good for you, Blake. Watch out, don't hit his kneecap too hard. It'll end up kicking Emma. This does not look like it's in the street. some problems on this side we're probably building this backward like our right is not their right our right is wrong Wait, it says look. Oh, I, 
I don't know. It looks right to me. I guess you could always no, switch it's like, it. It's almost like the if I straighten it out, then the pole up here is incorrect. That's weird. Well, it looks like this could take a while, so I think I'm going to, once again, the go no, back to, the, the pole to is avoiding here. this it situation this way, and, it won't, like, and in mowing order for the me lawn. To set this on, Stay tuned, folks. This could take a while. All right. Time Let's to clean the water. I'm officially out of height for this project. I didn't project. know putting together Halloween props could be so hazardous. You know, I really should be doing gardening at the moment. Here, I'll do it, honey. It says if it doesn't slide in easy, you have to adjust the, the femurs. I'm going to adjust the ladder first before I have to adjust my femur. This is giving me the creeps of the femur. Like, because that's actually in our leg. So, it's, it's giving me the creeps. Yeah, wait till you see his head. All right. Hold on, I got to, let me put this one in. Yeah. You see it? I do. Um, it's not lined up. You gotta tilt it forward. Yep. We'll tilt this forward. All right. Good. Now hold on. Hold on. Yep. That's a big toss skeleton. You gotta tilt this forward a little. Too much. There, there you go. Hold on. Don't pinch my finger. Yeah, I won't. Famous last words. Don't worry, I won't. Yeah, says That's teamwork right there. What's up? Doesn't look like it's there you go. It's in. Boom! There's ah! a boom. Look at that so far. Look at that. All right. Yeah. Pelvis K to the upper support pelvis. Nice. Oh boy! What? We got to bring the box over and lean it forward. The big, the big uh, rib cage is coming on. Ooh! So we have to lean that forward. Yes, you got to lean it forward onto the box. And you have to connect the wires too. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I know, Zoe. That looks like the greatest treat a dog could ever get. Can you imagine? Oh. This is actually really light. Mom. Thank God it's not made of real bones. <laughs> That's a big head right there. Holy well, smoke. Might be a big head, but there's not a lot upstairs. <laughs> I don't think so. There we go. On. Are we off? Yeah. Ready? We're ready, buddy. Three, two, one. What the heck? That is creepy, honey. You can't see him that well. I can see him. I don't like it. Look, he's waking at me. Huh? Don't you think that's a little too close to our bedroom window? No. Nah. He's going to look in there and pop a boner. Stop it. What? That's creepy. He's looking at you like, what? We still have one more to do. I know. Look at that thing. So is it everything you dreamed of, honey? Yeah. It's huge, except I still am not comfortable Lady, with it. Looking at you. Leaning. Well, well, we can always move it. Like I said, I don't really feel comfortable with him so close to our window here. Yeah, we might have to move him a little bit. Yeah. But, we actually want to move him more, like closer to the shade garden. Well, that's something we can do before the party, but that's the first prop, folks. I forgot to take the stickers off the eyes. Is that why it's hard to see the eyes? 
So the eyes are supposed to be brighter than that? They're LEDs, but it said to take the stickers off and I didn't really see them, but I think they're on there because they look dull. Well, it's also light out too. Oh my God. Yeah, because look at when he goes toward to his like side of his thing. He looks like he's, he's sleepy. Tired. Or should I say dead tired? <laughs> well, we'll have to ponder a name for this skeleton, but that is one of many props that we could, will... We could give him a guitar and call him John Bon Jovi. You're rubbing off on me. Uh, I get... No, no. See? I, mine, my jokes are funny. Yours are horrendous. Um, Daddy Green slumps the skeleton. Oh, really? We have many skeletons in the closet and are all about to come out for Halloween, so... He needs a hat and a bow tie. Oh, I'm sure you'll dress him up. Him, him and Crouchy. He, he looks naked. Together. I know. He needs a bow tie and a hat, a top hat. Where am I going to find a hat big enough? I don't know, gotta but... got to measure his head. He's leaning to the right. we got to fix that. <laughs> My OCD will not let me... Oh, I know. Yeah, it, it, that thing will be in 10 different positions before the day is over. All right, honey. I think I'm going back to mowing lawn. It was a lot bad, easier. Bad. This wasn't as bad as I thought, though, putting it together. Well, that's because I helped. No, you did nothing. Yes, uh, no, Actually, I helped. I needed, I needed your ladder, and I needed your... Yeah. I, if, I, if I remember correctly, we did get it on film, me helping. Yeah. So there, folks. Watch out, Emma! She's going to run it over with the tractor. All right, guys. Thanks for the memories. <laughs> Fail! Look out, Emily! I'm waiting. Oh, yeah? Get him, Jax! Didn't you notice we have an intruder? Can we put it in the front here, like on the first corner of the house? You can put it wherever you want. Just, I want it to be level, and it's just not level. It's, it's driving me crazy. Uh, we just put it together. I don't believe this is going to be the final resting place. Rest in peace, he will not. Not on this property.